I'm going to show you first an example of an SVG file that I brought in that has the dashed lines and what I would do with it. Now these are just straight lines and straight lines are a little easier and this whole file didn't have very many. This is a Bendy cards from Dreaming Tree that they had a free coupon in the forum to download this whole set of cards. So um, the the files that they create always have the as the dash lines or score lines on a different layer. So if I were to select these dash lines and click on the smaller of the two green plus icons at the bottom of the screen, I can send those score lines to the top layer. And then I can click on the green lock to make it gold so that um, they'll still be there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to draw new lines over it. Just left click on the Bezier draw, left click where I want the line to start and right click where I want it to end. Same with this one. Left click where I want it to start, right click where I want it to end. And now I have my choice. If I unlock these, I can have either solid lines or I can have dashed lines. You wouldn't want to do both, but that gives you an option. So it's a quick fix if you have straight lines. Even if you have curved lines, you could take these straight lines that I just drew and curve them in any way to match what you already have. I like to trace over what I already had and this gives me the option one way or another to use the dashes or to use the solid. If I want to use my engraving tool or my embossing tool, I might want to use these solid lines. So that's how I deal with it.